Seems like this has been the week for me crawling around the basement digging out insulation. What I've discovered on the other end of that pipe is that apparently, oh, 10, 11, 12, how many years ago it was, I crawled up under there and I connected a connector to the other end of that pipe and I never connected this end. I can't remember why. I, I know I connected to hot, but I never connected to cold. Or I may have, I may have, I'm trying to think how this worked out. I may have had a tee off and a shut off switch for the cold, but I used that instead to, I took it loose and ran it for outside water there. But anyway, I've got this connector already there. It was buried under about five or six inches of insulation and I was under there with my little handy dandy leather man chipping and cutting and pulling out insulation to get to it but if the other end of this is connected well to that pipe see this one has one of those little compression rings and uh, it's got some insulation stuck in it but uh, yeah if the other end of that pipe is in any kind of decent shape I may be able to put the uh, PEX pipe right onto this and then uh, screw this right back onto that and we might be good to go. So uh, I'm going to need me a little piece of PEX pipe and I'm going to, if I don't have to uh, tighten up the other end of this, because keep in mind that this thing is about this long this end up here is still buried in crap so if this is tight on the other end and I don't have to undo all that to snug it up and if that piece of copper pipe there isn't busted from being frozen this might be somewhat easy uh, two options I can go to if it isn't if that piece up top isn't tightened I can dig it out and tighten it if it still leaks because that's busted I can cut that off and then reconnect a fresh piece of PEX pipe up through here. Uh, I'm trying to keep this about as simple as possible. So what I'm going to do is go cut me a little short piece of PEX. I don't need but about yay so much. And then uh, crawl up under there. I've got a shutoff valve to go into the line. And I'll get me a piece of PEX and I'll set up that shutoff valve and then go back up under there. Uh, and we'll uh, see, what we can, see what we can do. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut me a piece of this with a shutoff valve and a T in place. And uh, then when I go under there, I'll shut the water off to the house and uh, cut the water line and uh, splice the T in. Uh, first thing I need is 36 inch piece of packs here. I believe I can cut it with a coping saw. So. When I was in Georgia a while back, all my friends down there were still using PVC, which surprised me because I didn't think anybody used PVC anymore. But up here, PVC freezes and bust, and that's bad for business. I guess down there, they don't worry about it so much. People still seem to use it quite commonly. Uh, this has so many advantages over PVC, in my opinion. Either buy the tool or use that sharp knife stuff, which is expensive. If you buy the tool, the things are they're not really cheap, cheap, but they're not awful expensive either. I think they're manageable. Uh, so this piece is a, like a universal connector, and this should go in like this. Oh. With that seal there. Seal might go like this. I don't know which way that's supposed to go. I'm guessing this way. I don't think it could go the other way. This is old. This is old technology. I think they've come out, well I know they've come out with a lot newer, you know, press-on connectors. Which I don't generally use, but since that's already got one connected to the other side, I will use it if I can. Come on now. You can get on there. I think you can do this. I don't even know if you need this thing.
Okay. So this end is going to go up to the bathroom line. This end will go into the cold water pipe, and this is my shutoff valve right here. I have another shutoff valve on the hot water pipe that's going to should wind up just about next to this, so it's going to work out. Oh, about perfect. Get me a, get a couple of these rings because I'm going to need them to hook this T in with. And I'll need my tool and my knife. I might not need my knife, but I might. If this don't leak, we should, this should be a fairly quick fix. Then we can start working on the walls and my coping saw to cut that line with. I'm going to take y'all in the basement with me this time, so put on your uh, spider protectant gear.